Hey fam, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So I have a, a viewer question actually, and um, he wants to know why do women, especially over 30, have a time limit when it comes to getting married? I will answer that right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So why do women have a time limit on getting married, especially those women over 30? Um, first of all, I have a few reasons, okay? But <laughs> the first one is, all right, bro, let's just be real. After a period of time, you already know what you want to do with me. You already know the category that you have placed me in. So if I am just a place holder uh again you're not going to tell me this but if i am just a place holder then you release me of me holding that place for you because you don't want anything with me you might want these things but you do not want them with me for whatever reason so there is no reason for you to continue to waste my time so don't waste your time that's why there is a time limit on when she wants to get married because you are just wasting her time. If you have not made her your girlfriend, have proposed to her, or have definitely gotten married to her after a period of time. Now, obviously, this depends on the stages that you are in, but you're probably wasting her time. The second thing we all know where we're going with this is the biological clock. Yes. The biological clock is absolutely ticking. So if I am not the woman for you, move on, bruh, so I can open up the door from somebody else. Now, ladies, I'm actually speaking kind of tough to the men, but you also have to take responsibility for yourself as well. If you are not getting what you want, if you are not receiving what you think and what you know that you deserve and are supposed to be receiving from said guy, do not waste your time. Because yes, again, your biological clock is ticking. If you want to, children. If that is a, an important thing for you, don't waste time just being somebody's placeholder. So that is why it is urgent for her to get married when she's 30 plus. She might want some more kids. The third thing to consider is that she's just tired of just doing the dating thing. She wants to actually be claimed. And if you're not going to be the guy to claim her, again, remove yourself from her presence. Ghost her. Trust me, she'll be sad, but she will be so happy that you moved out of the way. She's just tired of this dating thing. Now, don't get me, don't get it twisted. She don't just want it with anybody. She wanted with the right guy. But if you are just a play, if she is just a placeholder in your life, you have no interest of having more children when you know that she wants this. And there is no way in hell that you're going to marry her. Bruh, stop it. That's why there is a time limit on you getting married to her. That's why she got a time limit. Because some of you men out here, y'all could be ruthless. Now, I'm talking about y'all today. I know that women can too, but I'm talking about y'all today. Y'all could be ruthless. You know that you don't want nothing with this lady. You like the idea of her. But mainly, you just using her. Which is why you haven't wifed her up. Because it's something that is holding you back from wifing her up. And that's okay. Just move out the way. I'm not saying that you got a wife. What I am saying is these are some of the reasons why there is an urgency after 30. I want to be claimed. If I want children, I want some more because my biological clock is ticking. And if I'm just your placeholder, bruh, move it. I don't want to be your placeholder. I want to be nobody's placeholder. And ladies, you should have a time limit. Yes, yes, ma'am, you should. I have to say... Depending on your age, right, because I'm definitely still advocating do not get married in your 20s. But 
especially if you are in your 30s and beyond, if you have been in this relationship with this guy for one year, for two years, for five years, and he has yet to propose to you and even made you the girlfriend. Because I know some women that has even gone 10 years and haven't even gotten the title of girlfriend. You doing that to yourself though, sis. Why? Why? If you know that you want to be married, but you are fearful of letting this relationship go because you have to start over, ain't nobody out there, girl, bye. Those are just excuses, and that is the reason why you are not married. I'm sorry. I know. I know. That was tough. That was a stinger. But if you've been coming to my channel, you already know. I'm not just going to tell you what you want to hear. We can't always place the blame on the opposite sex. We have to take responsibility for the things that we are absolutely doing in our own relationships, in our own lives. So if you want things to change, you have to be the one to change them. If you have not gotten the title of girlfriend after a period of time, and definitely no longer than six months, and six months is absolutely pushing it. But after six months, if you have not gotten the title of girlfriend, girl, move on. If you have not been proposed to after a period of years, again, I'm talking for 30 plus, not for my, not for 20 year olds, 30 plus. Y'all been together for years. Y'all been talking about getting engaged, but he ain't did nothing. He ain't going to do nothing. And it's because and it's because you are not requiring him to do anything, which is why he's not done anything. I know all these things. It's tough. I know. But we can't always blame the brother from not standing up. It's because you are just going along with the flow, which is why you have not received what you wanted. And if he's not for you, he will move out of the way. And sometimes he needs a gentle push out of the way. The decision is yours. The choice is yours. If you want to get in a relationship and move it forward toward marriage, I'm not saying be the masculine one. That's not what I'm saying. However, if you have some standards and you have put them in place and this is the guy for you, he will have no problem stepping into that honorable place. To make a woman out of you. Mm -mm. He ain't going to have no problem doing that. If this is the guy for you. So if it's not the guy for you. Or fellas. If she's not the woman for you. Move on. Don't just let her hold the place. Because you being selfish. Maybe she cook good. Or maybe the sex is good. But you know good and doggone well. You are not doing nothing else. Other than those two things with her. She's just a placeholder until something better comes along. Don't be selfish because the next person that you fall for, that's going to be the one that's going to break your heart. That's going to be the one that's going to break you all the way down because we don't realize and don't think about the things that we're doing. But karma is right there to bite you right in your butt. That's all I'm saying, sis. That's all I'm saying, bro. Think about it. If you are not getting what you want, then it is time to move on. Do not be fearful of moving on. Do not worry about having to start all over because you never know that starting all over could be the best thing that's ever happened to you. And you might be married in a shorter period of time because you decided to move on. And that is for both sexes. If marriage is what you want.